We are learning more now from neighbors about what they saw and heard when a teenage boy was shocked after climbing up an electrical pole near Dictionot Park. ABC 7 Sam Harris-Simowitz joins us live from the spot in East El Paso where that boy was critically injured. Sam. Stephanie, some of the neighbors I spoke to, some saying they heard a boom, the others saying they actually saw the explosion that injured that teenage boy. But the, some of the talked to me that said they didn't hear or see anything say they were very confused when their power went out for about 10 seconds. And what you're seeing now is video obtained by ABC7 of that terrifying moment when that boy suffered those shock burns, seen climbing up a pole, and then that explosion when he fell to the ground. I spoke to a nearby resident who say he might actually have know a little bit more about what led up to that explosion that injured the boy. I guess I guess it was a transformer or just a wire or something, I don't know. So that they were saying that the kid climbed up the pole and supposedly some other kids were throwing rocks at him. That's what that's the story we heard. And here is a look at the, what the scene looks like earlier today. You can see the burn marks left behind on the wires of the pole. And that same neighbor I spoke to also mentioned that this area has had other types of incidents involving kids in the past. Problems. My neighbor, that she got their uh, window broken. And we just, it has been kind of nuisance. They've been starting fires over there. And it's just been kind of a nuisance. Now, I also spoke with officials who are now giving warnings about the dangers of electrical injuries and burns from shocks. I'll have those warnings coming up later this evening. For now, reporting live in East El Paso, I'm Sam Harris-Simowitz, ABC7. All right, Sam.